Okay, welcome back. We're going to go over some basic wood joints. The one that is the most common, the one that you would probably build in your garage, is the old B-U-T-T, the old butt joint. Take two pieces of wood, take a nail, maybe put a little bit of glue in there, and you put it together. You build yourself a box, it works great for the first 10 minutes, everything loosens up, you throw some more nails into it, by the time you're done, you got about a 40 pound, um, 40 pound box because you've got a thousand nails and screws in it. It works, but it doesn't work great. For cabinet making, we will use what is known as a rabbit joint. A rabbit joint is cut on the edge or end of a board. It's gonna be half the thickness and now you can see why we'll still put a fastener in there. We have a little bit more gluing surface. And if we applied pressure, we would have to compress that board. It makes it a lot stronger and makes for a better, uh, better project. The other one that we'll use a lot in here is a dado joint. Made with the same tools, same machines as the rabbit. Except the only difference between a dado and a rabbit is a dado is someplace other than the end or edge. Doesn't have to be in the middle, doesn't have to be a quarter. As long as it's not on the end or edge of a board, it's referred to as a dado. One thing you'll find out in this class, nomenclature is a big thing. And nomenclature is a big word for terms. Even if your main goal in life is to wear a paper hat and ask if you want large fries with that order, you still have to know terms. So that's why we have, that's the difference between our dado and the rabbit. And then the fourth one that we'll use in here is a miter joint. A miter joint would be found on picture frames, molding, the stuff around, you know, the frames around your doors and windows. It hides the end grain. It's not very strong, but a lot of times you'll notice that pitcher frames have a really weird profile to it. And if you try to butt it up, it's not going to match. So the 45 will get all the different contours to line up. And like I said, strength isn't great, but it doesn't matter how big your family is, that pitcher will still be able to hold up that frame. Okay, thank you.